All right, so I'm out here at Havana Cuban Cuisine 352, busy street, sorry for the noise, Ocala, Florida. To be honest, I had never heard of this place. I'm driving back from a quick little meeting back to Gainesville, came across this, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Gainesville Cuban Cuisine 352, we'll see. All right, here we go again. Uh, Havana Cuban Cuisine 352, Ocala, Florida. So I'm sitting in my car for this review because this was a whim. I came across this joint just driving home. We'll see, and that's why I do not have my much appreciated Cuban sandwich shirt from Deli Fresh Threads on today, but that's okay. I do have Farm From A Box represent. Go check them out, farmfromabox.com. They're up there doing good things. So let's see, Havana Cuban Cuisine ad hoc impromptu review in my car paper bag you know i love that you know i love the paper bag and it's got a little paper wrap which i also dig and it's like a uh probably fake like newspaper type articles um in spanish uh authentic cuban food that's a really cool little unique thing uh, that was a cool little spot inside. Again, Havana Cuban Cuisine 352 in Ocala. I hope I'm saying that name correct. I don't know if the 352 is official. Uh, but really cool. Had some good uh, Cubano music playing. Seemed very authentic. Some good decorations in there. All right. Initial thought. This looks legit. So you see the cut, right? diagonal cut thick very thick cuban sandwich i'll put my finger up here so you can kind of compare um thick but not too thick pork looks really good looks like real legit pork um good press it doesn't look like there's like burn or anything which sometimes i kind of like uh but it is pressed you hear that crispy bread um so initial just by looking at it looks good let's see it's a good sandwich i'm dripping just dripping the little melted mustard and cheese all over my shorts here that's no big deal though that's fine by the way i'm at this little park in ocala you can't really see maybe you can catch one right there it's fall Got some beautiful trees out here for you uh, folks who want to visit Ocala. Let's see. Let's go again. Good crisp on the bread. Good flavors on the meat, but I will say... It doesn't feel like it's heated all the way through. Um, so I, I was there, I watched them press it, some good stuff, but I feel like some of the ham in here is a little uh, cool still, a little chilled. I did notice, it seemed like, don't quote me on this either, but it seemed like they had like a prepared sandwich meal almost. So she pulled the bread out and she had this wrapped thing that was in the fridge and I didn't catch all the detail, but it looked like they just put it in the bread and then pressed it. Um, but again, good good flavor, but... It's not... It's not hot. I mean, I just got this and I drove one minute from the, from the store. It's not hot. Uh, the flavor's good. Respect the environment in there. Good crisp on the bread, good cut. But this thing isn't even warmed through. So it's unfortunate. I think it has more potential here. Maybe I'll try this place again in the future. I'm actually going to save the rest of this sandwich so I can go home and heat it up myself. That's unfortunate. I'm going to give this a... A little too thick, 
too much too much bread now that I think about it. Like, look at the back end of this. That's all bread right there. Not warm through. I'm gonna give it a six three. Cool joint. Respect that they're trying to happen. Make something happen out here in Ocala. By the way, there's no one in there when I went in there, and it's twelve fifteen during the week. I was hoping to see more people in there. Would I give it six three? Six one. Would I give it six three? Uh, good. Respect the effort, but. Not what I was hoping for from what seemed like a fairly legitimate spot. Havana Cuban Cuisine 352 in Ocala 6-3. There you go.